What's up everyone, it's Bucky and welcome to your sixth tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys something called a while loop. Now what a while loop is, is unlike the if statements I've been teaching you guys where it executed the code once if it um, if the test was true. In the while loop it's going to execute the, co the code over and over as long as the test condition is true. So you can execute a piece of code a hundred times with only having type one simple statement. And the best way to teach you guys this is just to get down and dirty and show you guys. So that's what I'm going to do. So the first thing, or in case I didn't tell you guys yet, what we're going to be building today is I entered a hot dog eating contest. And I'm going to make a counter so I can enter the average, so I can enter the number of hot dogs I ate each day. And it's going to find the average for me. So to find the average, we're going to need four variables. We're going to have int loop count. And this is going to count the number of times we execute um, the code, or it's going to be the number of days I ate hot dogs. Int hot dogs, since we're going to want to have to enter a value for how many hot dogs we ate. Int total, since to get the average, you need total divided by total number of days, so we need total. And int average, since to get the average, I just told you guys. So the first thing we need to do is set total equal to zero. Since right now I told the computer I didn't eat any hot dogs yet. The next thing we need to do is set loop count equal to zero. And this is because we always want the loop counter to start out at zero. Or in most cases you do. And now for what you guys have been waiting for. To figure out how to use this awesome thing called the while loop. The syntax for it is really easy. All you have to do is type while in all lowercase and the compiler knows you're going to be working with a while loop. Let me move this up so you guys can see it easier. And next, the what you enter in your parentheses right after a while loop is how often do you want this loop to continue or the test condition for the loop. So we say, all right, as long as loop count is less than five, we want you to keep doing this. And since we have this loop count is less than five, somewhere in our instructions in our curly braces we're going to need to change the number of loop count because if we don't then the loop count is going to equal zero the whole time and this code is going to keep going on and on and on so sometime don't let me forget we're going to need to change the value of loop count incremented by one or something so the first thing we want our program to do is just give us a prompt to enter the number of hot dogs we ate and we know how to do this using the printf function um, enter number of dogs eight and the next thing we need to do if it asks us how many dogs we ate scan f um, give it a value or let the user enter, enter value again you should have learned all this in my last tutorials percent d and set this equal to hot dogs and don't forget your oh that's not a money that's an ampersand don't forget to add your ampersand. Uh, if you don't, you're going to have a world of problems. And after we entered a value, we're going to run right. All right. Total equals total plus hot dogs. And what this is going to do is this. It's going to keep a running tally stored in total. So the first time we enter hot dogs, it's going to write, say we enter two hot dogs. It's going to write, all right. 0 equals 0 plus 2, so now total equals 2. The next time, if we enter 5, it's going to say, all right, total equals 5 plus 2 equals 7. Next time, if we enter 3, we're going to write, it's going to say, all right, total equals 3 plus 7 equals 10. So it's just going to keep doing that and keeping track of the total number of hot dogs we ate. And our last line we want to do is we're going to, again, want to increment this loop count by 1. Since I ate hot dogs over a period of five days, we're going to put loop count, um, yeah, let loop count equals loop count plus one. And this is going to say, all right, after you're done entering the first value, this loop count that was zero is now going to be one. And after you're done doing this a second time, it's going to be two, three, four, five. And it's going to do a total of five times. And this is the piece of code that's that lets you um, exit your while loop. If you didn't have this right here, and you had the loop count the same, then it would be zero the whole time. 
and it would never be greater than 5. And if this was true, then you would never escape your loop. And since we want this program to end eventually, we need to change the value of this somewhere, and this is where we did it. So after we're done entering all the value of hot dogs, we're going to want to do, let's see, what are we going to want to do? Let me tighten this up a little bit, make sure I don't run out of room. There we go. We're going to want to find the average number of hot dogs. And of course, to figure out the average of anything, you need the total divided by the total number. So in this case, it's going to be 5. And then, once we're done with that, let's just print our results to show you guys how many hot dogs I actually did eat. So let's print total number of dogs was percent %d. And what do we want percent %d equal to? average so again this is going to pretty much find the average and this is going to pretty much print it out in a variable let's put number so that little pound sign doesn't confuse you so execute compile and run hopefully i didn't forget any errors or anything like that come on baby come on baby no whammy no whammy enter the total number of dogs eight so the first day i ate two enter second day i ate four the third day I ate 54 um, on the fourth day I ate 22 and on the last day I ate 6 press enter total number of dogs was 17 and again let me show you guys how this works one more time we set all of these equal to variables set the total number of hot dogs to 0 we set the loop equal to 0 so this and this together showed how many times we want to enter the value. On the first one, it let it gave us a prompt and told us to enter the number. And this kept going on for five times. And this was able to escape the loop because of this loop count right here. Again, if we didn't have this piece of code right here, then it just would have kept asking us and asking us and it never would have stopped asking us and never would have moved on to this. But once this loop count became greater than five, we're able to go on with the rest of the program average take the total number divided by five and print out the total number of hot dogs so that my friends is how you use the while loop so i'm gonna have all this code on my website the newboston.com if you just want to copy it right now that's what i'm gonna do and paste it to my site i'll have it for you for free so again thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel make sure to check out all my contests Again, thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.